This is a video presentation of a computer navigated total knee replacement with ligamentous balancing by Dr. Munjid Almadiris. The navigation instruments are first calibrated by the computer navigation system. And once ready, the operation commences with a medial incision to the patella, which exposes the knee joint. Menisci are removed patella fat pad is removed and the undersurface of the patella is cut in a three-step process prior to the patella drill and drill guide preparing the undersurface for the patella implant. The calibrated navigation instruments are then attached to the lower leg and the upper leg and a series of range of motion and calibration movements are recorded against the computer navigation system. Point calibration is also necessary so that the system may generate a computerized digital image of the knee joint. These measurements allow the computer to carefully construct the digital image which allows the surgeon to perform a pre-operative measurement of the patient's range of motion prior to commencing the first cut which is the proximal tibia cut. Navigation is used to align the cutting block which when successfully in place is indicated by the green lights. This is locked in place and the surgeon can confidently proceed with an accurate cut. Following the cut, the bone can be removed and assessed for size against the trial instruments. And then the cut can also be measured for accuracy against the navigation system. The next step of the operation involves ligamentous balancing, which is performed in both extension and flexion. Once the navigation information has been received, the next step of the operation involves a femoral planning page allowing the surgeon to determine both the size and position of the implants of the operation. Once satisfied, the femoral cutting guide is navigated into place using the navigation instruments. And again, green indicating an accurate position of the cutting guide. Once established, the cut is made. And 
checked for accuracy against the navigation system. Prior to the alignment of the next cutting guide. Which once the position has been found, the guide is locked into place and the cuts made. Following the final cut, the guide is removed, excess bone is removed, and the instrument to clear the notch is positioned. is cleared. The instrument is removed, excess bone is removed and with the final of the cuts made the trial implants can be prepared and inserted. The first of the trial implants is the tibial base plate which is positioned Inserted. This is followed by the femoral implant and then the trial meniscal implant. Once inserted, the trial implants are assessed against the navigation system for correct placement and fitting. And once satisfied, they are removed. The bones are cleaned and the cement is prepared for the actual implants to go in. The first of the actual implants is the tibial base plate, which has cement prepared, is carefully positioned and impacted down. Excess cement is removed prior to the meniscal implant following screwed down, followed by the femoral implant being cemented and pressed into place with excess cement removed, followed by the patella implant with once again the excess cement being removed. Final adjustments are made prior to the navigation assessment through a range of flexion and extension and once satisfied with the result the surgeon can remove the navigation instruments and conclude the operation.